Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited. I, uh, me and my family went camping this weekend, so I had plenty of no makeup days. So I'm actually filming this on Sunday, um, which is usually my no makeup day, but uh, like I said, you don't wear makeup camping, at least I don't wear makeup camping, and um, I'm very excited. Uh, I stopped by uh, Sephora while I was down south, and uh, I got the, this is my very first mm -hmm. Natasha Denona palette. I'm glad it was only $65, because versus 129 I was definitely, definitely much more happy. This is a beautiful palette. It has a really nice big mirror in there. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my clammy hands. <laughs> and yeah, I got the Huda Beauty. The only one that really spoke to me in the neon palettes was the orange one. So mm -hmm. I got that. I'm probably going to do that in another video because I just can't help mm -hmm. it. I can't wait to try Natasha Denona's formula. Also from Huda Beauty, I got, I think, yeah, Aphrodite and the brush, which um, I can't put that, I don't want to put that on my face, so I'm just going to put that a little bit on my body to see what it looks like because I'm so curious. I got uh, the Marc Jacobs Accomplice um, powder here. I'm excited. I didn't know how little plastic thing. <laughs> I'm so excited to try this. And I've heard a lot of good things about the Marc, J Marc Jacobs Tantastic mm. Bronzer. So I also got that. Yeah. And these little plastic inserts in these are kind of cool. Yeah. Anyway, that's what was on top of it. I don't need to keep that in there. And I got um, the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1. Oh. Primer and setting spray. So, I was I've been curious about this. This isn't new, but I've been <clears throat> so curious about this that I had to give it a shot. I did see some good reviews on it, so I wanted to try it. <clears throat> and of course, I got my full size of my Tarte High Performance Found Sealer. Um, but I also got a sample of the new Dior Forever Matte Foundation. This is uh, too neutral. So I think I'm going to try that today. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, one more thing. I did cry my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot today in Soft Ochre. Um, but I do have a special needs child. If you're new to my channel, you'll hear him in the background clapping his hands and making noise. Because he's jealous of anyone or anything that takes my time from him. Okay. Alright, I'm going to take my BH Pro number 5. And I think I'm going to dip into this citrine color. Because I think I'm going to go for a nice sunset look. And I might have should have used a um, light base. But holy cow, it's the pigmentation. Maybe I don't have to worry about it. We shall see. And possibly, maybe I should have set my eye. I think I'm going to set this eye and see how it blends on it. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see, like, right in the middle of here. I feel like I'm having trouble getting that to blend. So I'm thinking that it might just be that I needed to set, which I used some translucent pet. Oh yeah. Yep. That was definitely, I would definitely recommend setting your eye primer because it, look how great that blended. That was just easy and totally seamless. Yes, that is so beautiful. Yeah, I definitely don't have that gappiness that I feel like I have on this eye. 
Okay, so I just, I wiped this eye off and I'll, I'll do it after I do this eye. Because uh, this eye's coming out so much better and I'm so happy. Um, so I think I'm going to go into Jasper next. And this is a BH Pro number 8. Wow. Woo, holy cow, I, I barely, I'll barely touch that. But try to, I don't want to focus this just below this yellow shade in the inner and outer corners oh my goodness that's just so do, i mean do you guys see how easy that is to blend um, i mean really oh these are like my iconic brows i, I kind of didn't want to Love it because most of her products are so expensive, but I kind of do love it. I'm gonna go back with no additional product on that first BH brush that we used with that yellow and just seamlessly blend that together. Yeah. I mean, look at how nicely that just blends out. I like that. I definitely can appreciate. Her formula. Very much. Now I'm going to take this BH number 11 and I am going to go into Glory because uh, that is so pretty. And this brush was not dirty. I washed it twice. It's just, it's just stained. So, anyway, and I want to. Add that. I want to pack that on just below this orange here because I want, like I said, I'll create, try to create a sunset look. I love the way the sunset looks come out and I'm really into it lately. So I've been doing it a lot, but I mean, I think it's beautiful, so. I'm just gonna pack that on and then I'm gonna go with this brush and blend the edges out so we don't lose any of that orange. And then I'm gonna cut my crease just in the middle there. Okay, so my crease did give me a fit today. So it's a little bigger than I wanted it, but we're gonna make it work. All right. So, I'm trying to see which shimmers I want to go with today. These are the four. They're on the top row. That's Poppy. That's Phlox. Uh, Awakening. And... Laurel. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Oh, I hate when I can't decide what I want to go with. All right, let's see. Aster, Azalea, Agate, and Day Spring. Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Um, okay, so those are the shimmers. Now I just have to decide what I'm going to put on my eyes. Okay, so I have a BH number seven, and I think I'm going to try out this box shade and put this on the outer <coughs> holy cow that's not even spray that's not even sprayed I'm just saying um, yeah I uh, 
think it's pretty safe to say that's absolutely beautiful. Not even, not even sprayed. I don't even think I have to spray these. And that is definitely a huge, huge plus. I'm going to leave the whole center blank. Just for curiosity, I think I am going to take and spray it and see. Holy cow. I kind of think I like it better not sprayed. Is that weird? But I mean, it's beautiful sprayed too. It just uh, doesn't need to be, and why? Yeah, I went too far in, but anyway, you're getting the gist of it. So I just switched off that brush. I'm gonna dip into Azalea. Let's see what this looks like. Not sprayed. Oh, that's beautiful too. But I don't know if I kind of. I'm going to go with it on the other eye, but I think I'm going to put something a little different on top of this, just because. Okay, so we're going to switch that off again, and I'm going to go into Awakening. And that doesn't seem to be picking up quite as good on the brush. Let me just try to take that with my finger and see if I like... Oh yeah, I think that would have been much better in the center. But we're going with it right now, and we're just going to pop that on top and roll with it, because, I mean, it it's beautiful. But yeah, if you look with the brush, it wasn't really picking much of that shade up, that awakening shade. Um... Now, I think I want to see what this agate shade looks like in the inner corner and on the brow bone. I'm going to do the brow bone because I need to clean up that inner corner a little. That's pretty. Okay, so I did just go ahead and um, do my brow bone. I'm going to save my inner corner because I can't seem to not hit that inner corner when I put my uh, concealer on. So I do want to try out this Dior Forever Matte Foundation. I have my little bitty sample here. And I'm so excited to try this. And yeah, we're going to do one side. I have... Um, my Makeup Forever uh, primer on already, and I'm going to do one side with a brush and one side with um, a blender. So hang on just a second, let me dot some of this on my face. Okay, I might use my Real Techniques um, buffing brush, and I'm going to do this side with my brush. And just my opinion, this does have a um, pretty good smell to it. Like, if you're sensitive to smells like I am, this actually might bother you. But, um, uh, I think I'm getting some weather alerts on my phone. We're getting some good weather here in my area of Florida. But, yeah, um... Not sure if I'm digging how I think I might have just let that dry too much, maybe. Let's try this. This is a my Juno sponge. And yeah, I think I like the way this is applying with a sponge a lot better. This is the matte version of this foundation as well if I didn't say that already I think I did but yeah I think I'm liking the 
um, sponge side a whole lot better. Uh, I only put a tiny bit and so I might go in with just a little bit more and um, in a couple areas and see how I like it. Okay, so I just went in with a little bit more with my um, Juno sponge because I like the way the sponge was looking much better. As you can see, this is a pretty good match for me. As I said, the smell is a bit, it's a bit much for me, but um, if this wears really great and doesn't give me a migraine, that might not be a big deal to me. So let me get my Huda, Be <laughs> Huda Beauty tan tour on and we'll come back and play with some of the powder oh and concealer um today i think i'm just gonna use my jeffree star concealer it's one of my favorites so and then we'll come back and use some of the other products that i got and finish this eye situation okay so i think this is mainly designed this mark jacobs um Accomplice is really for touching up the face, but I don't know if I mentioned with this foundation too that um, it dries really quickly, so I would recommend doing one side of your face at a time. Anyway, I'm going to see what happens. You know what? Maybe I will try the little brush that comes with this. I'm going to see like, if I mm. use this brush. What it does to the products on my face. And I did set my under eyes and stuff with my Jeffree Star setting powder in Fair. I believe it's Fair. Hang on. Yeah, it's Fair. Um, Anywho, I usually, I think that is more of a touching up powder for sure. Not sure how I feel about the brush. But I did wanna I did wanna see what it looked like buffed on my face. Let me use this bigger brush. And that is a pretty powder. I don't know how much blurring it does doesn't really have any smell at all. I don't really smell anything at all. Anyway, I usually use my Fenty Beauty to set the rest of my face before I go in with my bronzer. But we're trying this out like this. My face does definitely still feel a little tacky to me, so I am going to go in with some of my Fenty in Banana because when I put the bronzer on, I don't want it to patch or drag anywhere. That is a concern. So I want to make sure that we're powdered really well. And just can I say, all this stuff that I'm putting on my face, and I don't feel like this foundation looks bad at all so far. So we'll see after I spray it with some setting spray and all that, how that goes. Okay, brand new clean brush and this Marc Jacobs Omega Bronzer. I have 104 Tantastic. And I'm not sure if this was the lightest shade. I'm starting to think I picked up the middle shade by mistake. But let's start out my forehead because I got bangs oh. that can cover that up. And oh wow. Okay. Hello. That's, that's not too bad, I don't think. Yeah. Especially since I, I only got sun one time and I'm already getting concerned about some of my foundations. They, and definitely my concealer, but look at how that goes. You know, I know why people love this, okay? Uh -huh. just, what? I'm almost done. 
jealous, but mm. okay, he's giggling now. <laughs> anyway, this is like a. Oh, do you believe I just done that? This has kind of a like a coconutty smell. I kind of like that. Not at that smell at all. It's like the fancy. It's there, but it's not overwhelming to me, which is important. Like I said, I'm sensitive to a lot of smells. It blends on the face beautifully. Yeah. I I definitely can say as of right now, I like this. I haven't worn it all day, of course, but as a first impression, I like this. I even like this color on me. Okay, I just went in with my Alamar blush in seclusion. And yeah, now we're going to get back into this palette and work on this lower lash line. I'm going to take this BH number 7 back into Citrine and start working that on my lower lash line. Just so we have kind of the same effect on the top and the bottom. I'm going to take this Slim, Slim's Glam short shader brush and I think I'm going to dip into this orange jasper color. And buff that a little closer to the lash line. I really really like this palette. Sigma E55 angled brush into that pink glory shade. And I'm going to stamp this really close to my lash line. But just bring it about halfway in and connect it to that corner just a little. Okay, so I did use uh, my Urban Decay Starfire in the waterline, my Lights Camera Lashes, and my Inky Minky Authentic Lashes, which is kind of weird because I feel like I got two left eyes in this box. So I don't know if you could see how short. I trimmed these both from the outer edge, and do you see how how fluffy that one is and how that kind of looks like it belongs on the inner corner and that looks a little more fluffy. I'm not sure. I may, I don't know. I don't really know what to do. Anyway, we're skipping that. Okay. That's another story. I want to try this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting powder and see how it goes today. That is Okay, that's like a weird, a weird spray, but, oh my god, that's a good smell though. And we're going to melt all that together, and while I decide what I'm going to do about a highlight. Okay, so it's like this setting spray smells almost like a buttercream or a caramel popcorn type smell. I don't know, I haven't heard anything about the smell, I don't think. Anyway, I'm going to take that brow bone highlight, and I'm going to put that in this inner corner. And see how we like it. And I might, should spray this maybe? Oh no, there we go, I just need to pick up a little more. And I'm going to drag that as per usual down that lower lash line and yeah I like the touch that gives okay I think I'm just gonna use my melt highlighter because I am in love with this highlighter to highlight everything okay now I want I did finish off my face and I'm really happy with the way it looks. Really love the way this 
foundation is looking so far, but um, yeah, I can't leave this video. I know this, you know, my videos are all so long, but that's why I, say, I love playing with makeup and trying new things. Anyway, I'm going to tilt these down just a little. Don't mind my sunburn. I was in the shade, so I mistakenly believed that, yeah, that was going to not burn me. Fair warning, even when it's cloudy, not shade, I meant to say clouds, even when it's cloudy, even when it's cloudy, all of you out there, I just want you to know that don't be deceived, but ooh, by the clouds, you will get burnt here in Florida. Okay, so I want, I'm dying to see what this looks like on the skin. I need my mirror a little closer, and, whew, okay, I may have should have shot for just a tiny, tiny bit, because that is sticking to my skin, and you know, maybe it's because my skin is a little burnt, so I certainly don't want to blame that on this product. Let me try to blend this out. Okay. So I did have to go in with my hand, and like I said, I don't know if that's because my skin is burnt. So I'm going to try this again in another video. I'm not going to go any further and waste any more product, but you can see a little bit of the glisten and the difference from like this part of my skin to this part of my skin. Let's just take... Because my shoulders aren't really burnt, so let me, I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny, oh, that's more than what I, that's definitely more than what I wanted, so we're going to dot that all around my shoulder. I'm going to try this brush again and see, yeah, see this brush is not wanting the products just kind of stick into my skin oh. am I doing this wrong guys I'm moisturized in case you're wondering let me try to just dot it on my finger and this so you know this is this is tan in my hand but I want to see yeah, see how smooth that is? Not using the brush. I feel like I wasted money on the brush. Really? That blends so much better when you just use your hand. Anyway, I'm gonna get this all over my bra, obviously. But... I'm going to leave this at that. I'm not sure how I feel about this product, so I'm not going to say any more. I'm going to play around and watch a few more videos and see what I think about it. Because I've never used a product like that before, so I'm not going to I'm not gonna give any opinion at all on that. It did blend out much better with my hand than it did with that brush. In fact, I couldn't get it to blend at all with that brush, but... With my hand, it blended, blended all right. But like I said, that's going to be another video. I'm going to play with that all on its own. The Natasha Denona um, Sunrise Palette. I love this. I think it's beautiful. Foundation, I can't say much about either. Um, this, I have to see if it really makes a difference in how anything wears so I'll have to get back to you on that um, this I'm gonna use to touch up throughout the day I am gonna do some laundry and play with my little monster little uh, this I really love I think I like the way it sets on my skin I like the way it blended so um, yeah I'm trying to think what I am missing that I got uh, put it down in the comments below if I am missing anything. <laughs> these lashes, these are the first time I wore these lashes and I, I do like them. 
I actually like this style pretty good. But other than that, I will put a check in at the end of this after I do my laundry and get some cleaning done and get things put away from our little mini camping trip. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a little bit. Well, my friends, unfortunately, we have lost power here today. So I'm going to end this video and I will wear this foundation until my sample runs out. And I'll just let you guys know in a future video how I'm feeling about it. Um, it's only been on for a couple hours, but I'm still feeling really good about the way my face looks. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching another Trace to Tries tutorials. I hope you're having a wonderful night or day wherever you are. From me and Thomas to all of you, lots of love. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.